Well, welcome. Breaking news coming in right on the top of this bulletin. Two witnesses in the hit and run case have deposed in Mumbai Sessions Court. One of them, a chemical analyst, has said 62 milligram of alcohol was found in 100 milliliters of Salman's blood. These details were revealed after the witness Bala Shankar, who is chemical analyst, he was examined by the public prosecutor. I want to immediately cut across to our Mumbai Bureau Chief Sahil Joshi on the phone line with us. Sahil, the fact that huge re raised alcohol levels were found in Salman Khan's blood, what does that mean for the actor? At this point of time, the trial is on and uh, up to now around 11 witnesses have been uh, uh, the uh, 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 But it's very difficult to arrive uh, to any, um, um, any particular uh, uh, judgment at this point of time because there are many witnesses who are still missing, um, especially uh, the other doctor from JJ uh, has not yet appeared in front of the court even in 2010 when he was called uh, during the trial he, he was not there and he doesn't work with JJ anymore yes. but this other doctor who has examined uh, his blood has uh, clearly told in the court that uh, around 62 ml of uh, ethyl alcohol was present in the blood uh, which was analyzed by him and uh, that is in 100, um, uh, 100 milliliter of blood, around mm -hmm. 62 milligram of alcohol was found. So uh, definitely yes, that it, it kind of confirms that Salman uh, Khan uh, was drunk on that particular day, uh, as per the witness has said in the court. But still, uh, it will be time because now the uh, uh, the defense is saying that uh, they, they do not want to cross examine the present witness. Okay. And they at this point of time because they want to examine the other witness. You know, Sahil, it really doesn't tantamount to much at this point does it because first one has to establish that Salman Khan was actually the man who was driving the vehicle only then can you conjecture whether he was drunk or not yeah there are so many, many nitty-gritties in this particular case and the court uh, the judge has already told the prosecution that at any point of time the, uh, the trial has to end as, as early as possible uh, because now the culpable homicide charge is against Salman Khan and if found guilty Salman uh, can be sentenced to around 10 years of uh, imprisonment uh, but for that, the trial has to end as early as possible, and this trial is on since last uh, 10 years and has gone through a lot of changes uh, till now. Uh, so the court has first asked the prosecution to end the trial as early as possible, and they are expecting the, uh, at least uh, within a month or two, uh, the trial will first end. Uh, so we'll have to wait till that, but at this point of time, yes, uh, the two witnesses present today, uh, and uh, the chemical analyst has confirmed that there was an alcohol uh, uh, found in uh, Salman Khan's blood samples which was presented to him in one key uh, bottle uh, in 2004. All right, appreciate you joining us. Sahil Joshi, Mumbai Bureau Chief, getting us the very latest. Well, uh, the chemical analyst in court has stated that Salman Khan had hugely raised alcohol blood levels. Uh, but what does it actually tantamount? What does it actually mean in court? Well, as Sahil was pointing out, this case has uh, many layers. At first, you have to establish that Salman Khan was actually behind the wheel. Only then will it matter or not whether he was uh, inebriated or not.